Hello and welcome. Today's video is just going to be about how to fix your scroll wheel. So say if it stops working and as you're using it on whatever, it just goes up and down like this. I can try to see if it's going to do it here. So it's kind of broken right now. If I'm going up now, you can tell it's hardly even doing anything. So there's a couple of ways to fix it. The easiest way to do it is just blow air with your mouth right in there and it might get it to work again for a little bit. But besides that, if it stops working again right away, say like every 10 minutes, there's another easy way to fix it, I found out. And I'll just quickly show this. This guy here is the same as this mouse here, just with a just, uh, different trademark. So you can usually tell because the one button's here and the two here. This is a really cheap gaming mouse. I mean, it even says gaming mouse. So, but it does what it needs to, I guess besides the squirrel wheel. Right, so I'll show you guys how to fix it the other way. So just flip it upside down. You'll have two pads here, two stickers. You just want to remove them. The problem with these guys here is once you put them back on, if this is bent up even a little bit, it'll catch on your fabric and uh, your mouse will kind of get hooked. So it's up to you to put them back on or not. I'm just leaving mine off now. But if you take your time and take them off, it, uh, if you take your time taking them off, you might be able to put them back on. So take off the screws, unplug the mouse as well. But you can leave it on just to see if this is going to fix your problem. So on this mouse here, there's a screw hidden underneath the sticker. I don't really care about the sticker. It's not like I'm going to return it. So you can just punch your screwdriver through it to find the screw or just remove the sticker like I did. Okay. And then there's two hooks on the top here. So you'll want to get it from the back side. And then just lift the top off like that. All right, so the easiest thing to do now is just to push this guy that way and try using your squirrel wheel. Just gently push it this way. And you might want to push this wheel back that way just a little bit, just to make sure it's in properly. And then just move it up and down like this to see if it works. And if it does, take some hot glue. Try not to get any up inside here or obviously on this button and you don't want to go over top of it. Just put some hot glue right there a little bit. Hold it this way. And just wait about two minutes till it dries. Okay, that should be good enough. So now you can just test it to make sure it works. You gotta make sure you're on. Okay, that seems to be good enough now. So that's all I had to do to fix this one. Your other option is to use some nail polish, some clear coat or whatever the, it's called, I don't know. Just call it clear coat, I guess. Pop this guy off carefully. Okay, once that's out, just put a very small layer of coat on the end here, like that on both sides, and then let it dry for five or 10 minutes. Just make sure it's completely dry and don't put too much on it. I think what'll happen is if uh, you put too much on, you know, it won't fit back in is the first problem. And the second one, it might start gumming up the inside, which you don't want as well. Okay. Make sure it still works. Right, and then that's it. So just make sure your wires are pushed to the side. I think what I'm gonna do here is hot glue these wires in place because they can be annoying too. All right, with that glue dry, now you can put the top back on. You just make sure it works still. All is good. So this guy here, the front has to push down this way first, then down, so it can. And that's it, got it. 
Okay. Oops. All right, with the top back on, now you can test it again, and it is working a lot better now. So the two problems you might run into with this is uh, you didn't push hard enough this way with the variable before putting the hot glue, so you might have to try that again. And, uh, or you can try adding some of this to thicken up that plastic to, just to make sure it actually turns the variable and doesn't skip. So either try both or just try just the hot glue, it's up to you. All right, so that's it for the video. I just wanted to share this easy mod to get it working again. And uh, that's it, like and subscribe and that's all.